Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Vijay Lakshmi. In my previous video, I have discussed about module 1 and 2, question bank. Now we are discussing ATCD module 3, 4 and 5. Okay. These are some of the standard questions which we have chosen from the previous year question papers. So, and these are also very, very important and these questions might be repeated also. It will be repeated anyhow. So, here uh, consider this grammar, module 3. Uh, so, the, this is uh, to check whether there exists an ambiguity in grammar or not. Okay. So, you have to apply leftmost, rightmost derivation and you have to construct two different parse trees for the string what they have given here. That is 0 minus 1 star 0 minus 0. Okay. If two different parse trees exist for this means, then we say that this grammar is ambiguous. Okay, guys. So, then next is for this given string. Or apply the leftmost derivation and write the parse tree for the derivation. Is it possible to obtain the same string by applying leftmost by selecting different productions? So here you have to consider any string using this grammar if you are able to derive the same string by applying two times LMD or by applying two times RMD or you can apply one time LMD and one time RMD and you can construct two different parse trees and say that that grammar is ambiguous. For any given string. So the same way here also same problem you can take any string which uh, you can obtain using this grammar and show or say that the, they are ambiguous. And what is inherently ambiguous grammar show that the given language is inherently ambiguous. This problem also can be asked for 5 marks and all these problems are sample problems to explain the ambiguity in grammar all these problems. See again this is repeatedly asked question often to check for the ambiguity this and this fifth question these questions was repeatedly asked next uh, this one how to convert a given grammar to unambiguous grammar this is also a standard question just you can refer to this how to convert it into an unambiguous grammar next uh, context free grammars you have to write the grammar for this and these are also again repeated questions okay guys all are repeatedly asked each question will be for two two marks here so you may get two questions next compiler design in third module what is top down parsing Explain recursive decent parsing with an algorithm. It's an important question. And write first and follow for the grammar by taking necessary changes. That is, we are constructing here predictive parsing table. The same thing, top-down parser we are going to construct. This top-down parser is nothing but SLR0 we say. Okay. Or else you can call it as SLR1. Anything is same. So, either you may get compute first and follow or design a predictive parser or design a simple LR parser. Everything is same. Okay. The same answer, the same algorithm we are going to apply and you are going to solve. And this is an example for this. Next, module 4. Given, give the formal definition of PDA and construct a PDA to accept the language A raised to N, B raised to N, where N is greater than or equal to 0. And these are also uh, standard problems, guys. You Anything can be repeatedly asked. You may get 0 raised to n, 1 raised to n. And WC, WR, okay, PDA, push down automata, repeatedly asked questions. Or you may get WW to design a PDA for these languages. Next is define shift reduce parsing. Explain its actions and conflicts taken. So this is also an important question and find the handler for the given right sentential form and uh, this is important that is what I said LR0 items is nothing but here LR0 items you are uh, designing that is the CLR okay we call it as CLR0 here show the parsing this is again you may get SLR problem or CLR problem one. And next, uh, fifth module, Turing mission is very important. Write the formal definition of Turing mission 
and explain the working of Turing machine or explain the Turing machine model with a neat diagram. Theory questions it will be for 5 5 marks. And explain the extensions of uh, Turing machines. Okay, all these are theories. And these are standard problems 0 raised to n, 1 raised to n. Okay, you may get this problem with uh, two uh, input parameters or with three like 0 raised to n, 1 raised to n, 2 raised to n. So this is what the repeatedly asked questions. You have to design the Turing machine for this where n is greater than or equal to 1. Okay, that, uh, that one you can, uh, these two problems, any one you may get. Construct a Turing machine to accept strings ending with 0, 0, 0. Next, palindrome. Turing machine that is designed a Turing machine for W, WR, where n is greater than or equal to 1. Next uh, important question here uh, for in compiler design that is define inherited and synthesized attributes. Write a SDD for a simple calculator. And this is again an important question. Write a three address code implementation for the given input. So here you have to apply three address code that is triples, bag, okay. Quadruples, three address code. Next again an important question, theory question. Discuss the issues in the design of a code generator. So these are the possible questions in compiler design. So hope you have understood. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. Thank you.